Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, it is Friday, it is the weekend, it is the best time of the week in my humble opinion. I love a good Friday, I love a good weekend and today I am here to share with you how my week was. We'll set some goals for next week. We're going to talk about this week's WW workshop topic which spoiler alert is a fantastic fantastic topic we all need to hear about. And then of course, of course I'll be sharing this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I upload five videos every week. Down in the description box, you will find my nutrition coaching services. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is a must, absolute must. Whether you follow WW or not, you need to have your macros and calories done. Trust me, it's a game changer. And of course, for accountability, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things. And last but not least, come on over, join our Facebook group. It's free and it's an amazing supportive community and we'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, setting some goals, the WW workshop topic, and my way in. <laughs> Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. Can you believe August is already halfway over? I am already getting all the fall feels. I have purchased a few new Halloween things because apparently, to my pleasant surprise, my neighbor let me know that we get a ton of trick-or-treaters in my neighborhood, which I kind of expected just because we are in a development or a community, but she said hundreds of kids. If you remember me complaining when we lived in Washington that we lived rural, so we never had trick-or-treaters. I mean, no kids walking up our acre-long driveway for candy. So I am over the moon excited for all the trick-or-treaters this year in our neighborhood. So I want to make sure that the outside of my house speaks Halloween just like the inside. So I have been doing a little bit of shopping. And of course, I did get a DM asking if I was going to share my fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas decor. Absolutely, I'll be sharing that here on my channel. So that's been really fun and I'm already getting into all of the fall vibes. The weather here is still hot. It's still summer here. I'm still enjoying the last bit of summer, but I'm ready. I'm ready for fall, winter, Christmas, all the holidays, because of course that's my favorite time of the year. On a side note with pumpkin spice and fall season, I've been getting a lot of questions if I'll be sharing pumpkin related recipes. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wait to bring you all the pumpkin recipes. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss those recipes. Now back to my week, back to my week. I've digressed a little bit. I had a really great week. I am killing it in the gym. I have a much harder workout routine now, like I mentioned last week. My strength training alone takes me almost twice as long in the gym, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm feeling sore, but I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling lean. I'm feeling really good. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment trying to work the extra workouts into my schedule because I'm so busy with coaching and YouTube, but I've been able to get in my exercise seven days a week. I've really been focusing on getting in my water and also a focus on whole real foods. I kind of strayed away from that a little bit not that I didn't eat a lot of whole real foods, but I was introducing a little more processed foods and I've really cut that back and been focusing on fruits, vegetables, lean meats, about an 80-20 approach. 80% 80 clean whole foods, 20% processed foods or foods that I love. That's not only helped me feel better overall, it's also helped my sleep, my energy, and it's been helping with my weight loss. I just feel better when I have a more whole food focus. I've also been hitting my protein goal every single day. Every day this last week, I hit my protein goal, which is also extremely exciting and huge. Huge, huge, huge for weight loss is making sure that you're eating enough protein every single day day. I get asked a lot how much protein I'm supposed to eat. I, You would have to have your personal macros and calories done because that number varies from person to person. We're all individuals and every body is different. So the amount of protein that you need isn't the same that I need. So again, I'll link nutrition coaching down below. I do offer that service of personalized macros and calories. So I actually feel really, really good about my week. And when I checked in with my fitness coach last Friday, I did check in with her today as well. But when I 
checked in last Friday and sent her all of my stats and photos, I'm going to pop up what she sent me back. These pictures are eight weeks apart. So the picture on the left was four weeks into my journey with her. So I had been working out consistently, lifting weights, doing cardio for, for four weeks. The picture on the right is what I sent her last week. And there is a drastic, drastic difference in how it looks versus the amount of weight that I've lost. So I wanna point this out for two reasons. Number one, by incorporating exercise and strength training, you can see tremendous differences in your body, even if the scale doesn't show you the differences. And number two, I'm going to pop up here on the screen how much actual weight I've lost on the scale in that eight week period versus how my body has changed. I want to constantly, constantly remind you that the scale is not the only measurement of success. In fact, it should be last on the list for measurements of success. You should be looking at how your body is changing, how your clothes are fitting, how much more lean and toned up you are. Do you have muscles popping up? Are you seeing your collarbone for the first time in who knows how many years? Those are all big, bigger measurements of success than the scale. So I wanted to share these pictures with you that my coach sent me as a reminder because I also need this reminder. As you know, I can get wrapped up in the scale and I need these pictures, this visual reminder of all of the progress that I'm making, whether the dumb scale says I'm making progress or not. So before we talk about the scale and this week's weigh-in, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic and that is how to embrace saying no. I don't know about you, but I need to get better at saying no. I want to say yes. I want to help people. I want to take part in everything. I want to be involved in everything. But there are times when we just need to embrace the word no. Eating a second slice of pizza, keep hitting the keep watching button on Netflix, or maybe enjoying one more drink before happy hour ends. These are all things that we do that can have a negative effect on our weight loss. And these are situations where we may need to check in with ourselves and actually use the word no. Saying no to things that don't align with your goals can be tough. The next time you politely decline something, or maybe you want to politely decline, shift, to fo shift your focus to what you're actually saying yes to than what you're saying no to. This is huge. Nobody wants to say no to things in life. I mean, like I said, we want to be part of things. We want to be active in our community. We want to eat the foods that we love. We want to binge watch Netflix. But think about the things that you're saying yes to when you have to say no. So try these tips from WW. You. Number one, list all your reasons to say no. These are actually your reasons to say yes. Be specific. If you turn down more pizza, is it because you want to stay within your personal points budget? Or maybe you want to break the habit of eating when you're not actually hungry. No reason to say no is too big or too small. You have to remember that saying no isn't a bad thing. And when we say no to things, we're actually saying yes to ourselves, And we're actually saying yes to our weight loss goals and our health goals. And that's huge. Number two, ask yourself what you gain by saying yes to these things. Consider the ripple effect. You'll keep your blue dot streak going. You'll stay satisfied and ready for a walk later instead of overly full and sleepy. And you'll feel proud and in control. Like I said, when we say no to things, we're actually saying yes. We're saying yes to losing weight, to reaching our goals, to being in control. And number three, connect your gains to what's important to you or even to your why. The connection may be obvious, maybe between your blue dots and your weight loss goals. If it's not, create a link between them. Say you skip an after work event. Use that time to do what is clearly important to you, like going for a walk with a friend. When we have to say no to things because they just don't align with our weight loss or our health goals, think about what you're saying yes to. Are you saying yes to that evening walk instead of the evening round of drinks? Are you saying yes to that workout or moving your body rather than hitting yes for the next movie on Netflix? Whenever we say no to something, we're actually saying yes, which is such an eye-opening thing to think about. If you found yourself thinking, I'm such a drag, like I don't do anything, I don't want to do anything because I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to live healthy, Again, think about what you're saying yes to. You're not a drag, my friend. You are aligned with your goals and you are on a mission to reach them. Don't get caught in FOMO, the fear of missing out. This can be a big detriment to our goals. There's also what is known as JOMO, J-O-M-O, -O, the joy of missing out. Both JOMO and FOMO, like I said, can play a negative impact in our goals. Instead, turn 
more on your focus. Instead of enjoying that, instead of enjoying that second slice of pizza or another round of drinks with your friends, what can you do instead that gives you joy? Maybe it's taking a walk. Maybe it's sitting down and journaling and writing out your goals and your schedule for the following day that's going to align more with what you're going for, for your health. You can combat these no's and these FOMO's and these JOMO's and really focus on saying yes to the things that help you. The shift isn't about saying no. The shift is about saying yes to what works for you and what aligns with your goals. I tell my coaching clients all the time that there are several times throughout the day, several times every single day that I ask myself, is blah, blah, blah helping you reach your goals? Whether it's a food that I'm eating or something that I'm doing, I ask myself, is this helping you reach your goals? And if the answer is no, I really second guess whether or not that's something that I want to do. I am all about reaching my goals. So I want to make sure that what I'm saying no to, but also what I'm saying yes to is helping to get me there. Let me know down in the comments. Do you suffer from FOMO or JOMO? Do you find yourself doing things that don't align with your health journey just in the fear of saying no? If so, hopefully these tips and tricks from myself and WW help you overcome those and help you reach whatever health goals you have for yourself. So with that, let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. Like I said, I killed the week. I killed the week with my workouts, with my food, drinking my water, reaching my protein goal, and and when I stepped on the scale, it actually paid off. The scale actually recognized all my hard work and I am down 1.1 pounds. Last week I lost 1.6, so I'm thrilled that a week later I'm down an additional 1.1 pounds. I will go ahead and put my overall weight loss here on the screen for you. And every pound, every ounce that I lose is getting me closer to my goals. And it's reminding me that it's okay to say no when I'm saying yes to the goals that I've set for myself. So I'm really happy with my weight loss. I'm looking forward to ending out August with some additional weight loss and really inching closer and closer to my goals. And like I said, by asking Asking myself several times a day is what you're doing helping you reach your goals has really made a significant impact on my weight loss. And the other thing that has made a significant impact is making sure that I'm hitting my protein every day. Especially as we age, protein becomes more and more important. I also want to remind you that a lot of you have asked for a why is protein important for weight loss video that is coming. I just have a couple other videos in the pipeline that I want to put out prior to that, but I promise you that video is coming. So I'm thrilled. I'm happy. I couldn't be happier with how the week went. And now I want to hear from you. How was your week? How did you do hitting your goals? And again, let us know, do you suffer from FOMO or JOMO? And what do you do? What are your tips to overcome that? And of course, if you enjoyed another weigh-in, give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really helps out my channel. And of course, subscribe and ring your bell so you never miss a future video. Down in the description box, I will go ahead and link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend your macros and calories, reaching your protein goal by knowing what you need to eat. And if you need some extra accountability, I'm always here for one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!